Hey y'all, it's your girl Asia Dior. If you do want to see how I achieved that look that you just seen like 15 seconds ago, then keep on watching. Y'all, look how much hair my client has. Like, she's so pretty, first of all. And she got a lot of hair too. Let's get it popping. So first things first, y'all, I'm going to just braid her down. And the thing about like an install and doing like your cornrows, they have to be flat. Because if you don't have a flat install, you don't have an install. Like, your wig is going to be lumpy and bumpy, and it's just going to be a no-no. So when you're doing an install, remember, y'all, do flat braids, flat braids, and neat. And make sure your parting space is good. Because, like, if you're doing a side part, you want to make sure those braids towards the side, which you're doing it on, is actually flat. If you're doing a middle part, you need those braids closer to the middle. You need those to be real flat. So that's the first thing. And let me tell y'all how good I'm getting with like braiding and stuff. Usually for an install, I used to take like two hours to braid down some hair. Now I done wrapped it up to an hour, y'all. So congratulations to me. But yep, y'all see how the braids is flat and I'm actually connecting them too. And that just prevents like, you know, bulkiness in the back. So make sure y'all connect those braids. Next, we got to grease that scalp. You cannot have no dandruffy scalp under an install. You're going to be scratching your life away, y'all. So grab that blue magic and grease that scalp. All right, now, so this next part is pretty self-explanatory with my great visuals. Basically, that last braid you got hanging, you want to sew it up with some needle and thread. And you can just pull it up into the braids and just sew it all the way up. Just because I don't like anything hanging in my installs. Now I'm putting the wig on her head and I'm actually going to use some ghost bond glue just to mark the two spots where the closure ends. And this is just going to basically be like my measurements for my bald cap, like where to place it. Now I'm grabbing my sea breeze and a cotton ball and I'm going to wipe around her forehead, basically where the closure is going to go at. Now I'm putting some edge control on her edges where the closure is going to be at and this is basically like my adhesive. Like I don't go nowhere near the hairline, that's why I just gel everything back because I don't want no glue trying to get up in those edges. <laughs> Okay, I'm grabbing my ghost bond glue and I'm going to apply small dots where I want her bald cap to lay. I use the ghost bond glue because I just feel like it gives it a better hole and it doesn't lift as soon as if you would use gots to be glue. a skin tone stocking cap and just placing it where I laid the ghost bond glue. Now it's very important that you don't use something darker than their skin color but you can lose lighter because you could just apply makeup on there but darker is a big no-no. So now I'm just pressing firmly in on the cap just to make sure everything is blended in and sticking. You don't want anything lifting. Next I'm going to grab my melting spray and just spray some on there and that's going to act as my ghost bond. I recommend that y'all do find a melting spray because the gots to be glued just doesn't work for me anymore. I feel like it just lifts up stuff. So after I do this, then I'm just going to put the blow dryer on her for about 10 minutes on cool. And then I do about 5 minutes heat. <laughs> I'm just going to grab my needle and thread and I'm going to sew around the back of her cap and the sides, basically where the closure is going to lay. And that um, section, that's the section that I'm going to sew down with needle and thread, just so that part of the cap doesn't lift. <laughs> Now 
now I'm going to cut off her bald cap and you're just going to cut as close as possible. You don't want any like specks sticking up. I used to use a razor, but I feel like it was breaking up the cap and making it lift more. I don't know if because it wasn't tight enough, but I just stuck with scissors now. And ever since then, life's been good, y'all. All right, so this part right here, y'all, this part is the moment of truth. When that cat blend in. All you got to do is put some makeup on there. If you bleached your knots right, all of that, that cap is going to blend in as soon as you put it on, y'all. I'm not even going to speed this part up. I'm just going to talk through it. So next, I'm going to cut those sides off where you see like that. I don't know, even know what that part is called, but make sure you cut those sides off because that is what will make sure your lace will last. <laughs> I'm just cutting that lace and y'all you can use scissors or razors whichever you prefer but just make sure you cut that lace and get as close as you can to the hairline you don't want to leave any lace <laughs> And just look how good that lace look. I haven't even glued it down, y'all. I just know I did so good. I had to start walking around the room for this. <laughs> now I'm grabbing my bolt hole active, the best on the market. And I'm going to apply small drops on her forehead where, where she wants me to lay her lace, basically. So it's about 10 to 12 drops. You want to do thin ones because you don't want no thickness. That's a no-no because then your glue is going to get white and it's going to get clumpy and then it's not going to lay right. Just don't do it. So small dots, y'all, across the forehead where you want your lace to lay. Wait till y'all see how this look when I lay this lace down real quick. Just look at it. I'm not going to even speed it up, y'all. Just watch how it just, bam. It's just in there. It's growing out her scalp, y'all. I didn't even put a blow dryer on it yet. Like, it looks so good, guys. I just want to cry right now. my favorite part of the install the first step to the baby hairs I'm just gonna pull out um thin strands of hair I'm gonna do a soft baby hair for this look <laughs>
next you're going to ask your client to hold those baby hairs and you're going to use that melting spray to spray that across and then you're going to use your elastic band and then get put under the dryer for at least 10 minutes. <music> Okay, this is the second to last moment of truth. When you pull off that elastic band, everything should be melted into the skin, looking real lifelike, y'all. Like it's growing up out of her scalp. And that's what it looks like to me, y'all. So after that, you combing out the baby hairs, just making sure nothing is sticking. And then you're gonna grab your razor and start to cut the baby hairs. Now, I like to cut my baby hairs short. I don't know why, but I don't like to wrap I don't like them to wrap around. I just like them to like sit and just like fall in place. All right, now I'm going to grab my FOG mousse. And you can use any mousse as I said before, such as Nairobi or Tropical Roots. And guess what you got to do? Swoop them joints. That's all you got to do is swoop them joints. Like you want to feel it in your wrist. And the flick of your wrist, you want to feel it, y'all. So I'm not going to do too much talking because basically I couldn't, you know, Include the full video of me doing these edges or it would have been like 30 minutes. So I had to speed it up and it's reduced to like 5 minutes. So enjoy. <music> Next, after I lay those edges down, I'm going to put the elastic band on her and put her under the dryer for another 10 minutes. Yes, look how good that look. So after you take that elastic band off, you're going to comb them edges out just to give it a fluffy look. Y'all see her smiling. She like it, y'all. She like it. So basically, you're just going to comb those edges out to give it like a fluffy look. Then, you know, I'm going to put the hair in front of her and whatnot and comb her beautiful curls out. Everyone, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks!